I spent a year in a Minecraft SMP. That makes it sound like it's past tense and done and oh, it's still ongoing. This is not like a, a, a wrapping everything up in the end. This is a status update. Anyways, that's not the point. The point is I spent a full year in this SMP near craft. And I am here to show you around and show you everything that myself and other people have built on here. And obviously it won't get into the tiniest, tiniest details because there is so very much to show, but let me not waste any more time. Let's get into it. This is where it all began. If I remember right, it was actually this little hill right here where we started with a world border and a few of our friends and some brand new people we had never met before. This is where Neercraft began and then the border fell and we scattered across the continent. So Neercraft is largely one central continent that everybody, or almost everybody, lives on. So as we go along, I am going to show you a map of the continent and drop a little pin where we are so that you can keep track of what the place looks like and how we get around. Now, as I said, this is Spawn. Here we have a few of the very first shops that people made, and <laughs> this old secret Santa building. What does this say in front of it? Gongerborb. <laughs> we are doing another secret Santa this year, but this is the one that we used last year. Probably one of the most important parts of Spawn is the central portal, which was a ruined portal that somebody fixed up, and now this gets us into the Nether Hub, which is currently in the process of being redone by Dodo into this incredibly complicated system that I really don't understand, even though he explained it to me. But it's kind of like a subway where there's a bunch of different stops and there's rail carts that you can tell them where to drop you off. I don't know, it's very... I'm just not good with redstone. <laughs> but it looks amazing, it works amazing, and I'm excited to see it uh, all fleshed out. Now, I'm going to begin at my own base and we will work our way from there. Welcome to the Mossy Peninsula. This place has come a tremendous way since the beginning of the series. When this started, it was just me in a jungle-covered peninsula until I was joined by a few neighbors that kind of turned my life here upside down and we created, not a cult, a, a movement? Um, lifestyle, belief, religion, I don't know, <laughs> but we worship the moss and the moss mama from which it came, who used to stand here before she was brutally murdered. That's a whole other story. But at the Mossy Peninsula, I have my starter base, the hut, which just started as this tiny structure in the middle, this one room. And I tried to build out of things that I didn't like, which is why I had these two blocks. I don't like either of them, but I tried to make them look pretty and I'm still very happy with how this turned out. Now it's more of a garden in place. It just has a lot of plants in here. I still really love it. And then I added this room here. And then I added this back part of the hut. And then if we go this way, I have this little patio with <laughs> most of the map of the continent and the headroom, of course. This looks like it's eating Swear I'm Berthilda's head. And then beneath this, there is a little smithing area. And that is the entirety of the hut. Across the wheat field, we have the enchanting setup in the cherry blossom tree here. And if we follow the path this way, we get to the chicken coops and the sheep, and also a couple chickens, I guess, and the horse. Do you have a name? Have I named you? I haven't. Wow, I still haven't named the horse. That's kind of sad. We have a few remnants from Ender and Swigging Tea still here. That is a hut that they made up there, and this was part of Ender, or Swear I'm Berthilda's, Secret Santa gift last year. This is the Panic Shack the first building that ever existed on the peninsula before the hut or the tree or the anything else. This was where we lived. This was it. If we step outside of the panic shack, I'm going to reveal the secret entrance to the prison, 
which has been on camera a few times but the entrance has not been on camera. So, you break these down, go down this hallway, and this here is the prison where we tried to put our dear neighbor Andre at the beginning of the series. <laughs> and now it's just a place for, for the fishes. Anytime we get one of these fish, because we have a bubble column on the cliff and sometimes fish spawn in it. Ugh, not one of you. Anyways, you didn't see that. <laughs> we put the fish in the prison because the fish is for prison. No, the prison is the prison is for fish. Also, those husk noises. There, there's still husks everywhere. I keep finding them everywhere. If you've watched the last video, you know what I mean. Anyways, this is the temple. My not my mega base, but not my starter base. So I combined mega and starter to say martyr. <laughs> this is my martyr base. It has most of my items right now as I work on the mega base. There's a nice kitchen and a storage room and stuff, and uh, a little bedroom as well, which is more like a coffin room. And it houses a moss farm inside it. See, look at look at these. Look at all these. They're everywhere. So inside here, there is the moss farm, which after the most recent updates actually doesn't function too well. It breaks after a couple minutes of use, but it's still here residually. I got a tremendous amount of moss for it, and I still love it then of course next to fred and bubbles in the pond here we have the mossy shrine which used to house the sin book but i have no idea where the sin book is it's missing help let me get you a view of this from the back though this is the back of the martyr base there's this big black stone chain with these giant pins that's kind of holding it onto the cliff as the cliff erodes it's pretty cool and then down here beneath it, this is where I've been constructing the mega base. I carved out this big section of the cliffside, and this is my house. And there will be a ah, <laughs> there will be a tremendous amount more to this, but this is all there is so far. Just this little area here. But I am very excited to continue with the rest of this. Now, in terms of neighbors, if we go to the north past the moth, mossy, mothy, monstrosity. There it is. We have Andre's old place. And Andre hasn't been on here in a while, but I still like the farm. It's pretty cool. Now that is as far north as the continent goes. If we go this way, we see some <laughs> holes in the side of the cliff where Ender lived for a while. And now Ender lives up here on the Skyland with Swigging Tea. This is the home that they have made for themselves, which has... Oh, I don't even know what to begin with here. There's a hobbit hole, which is very cute. And there is a, a panda home over there. Nice little mushroom house here. A place for snowmen, and then way off in the distance, that is a sacrificial altar. So we won't be going there. Now, if we go south from the mossy peninsula... We hit Dodo's base right here. This is Greentop Village, which is kind of in a, a crater at the top of this giant mountain. He's done some really amazing terraforming here that looks very cozy. It's just very warm feeling. There's a kind of patio area with some tables and a swing. That there is Chachi's house, another little hobbit hole, because they share this area. And then up here is Dodo's new house. And I won't show everything in here, but it's a really cool place. I love what he's done with it. It's really homey, just like the rest of his base. Now, if we go to the east off of the Mossy Peninsula, we hit Mine Crabo's base, or bases, I guess. <laughs> there is this, which is a giant stairway down into the ocean that he made. I, I don't know what might become of that. And then this is his base made into the cliffside, which is a series of tunnels next to my mega base, which I also helped to make. So one of my favorite parts of this room is, where is it? Is it this one here? Yeah, I helped make all of these lava flows so that when you stand back here, you can see them all like this. Really happy with how that turned out. And this is a really cool base. So let's move further south. We go past the Mossy Peninsula, and past Dodo's base, and then curve to the east just a little bit. And we arrive here? Wait, no, not here. Here! <laughs> we arrive here, which is Christian 
or Ivadix is base. Do you put an S after a name that ends with an X? I don't know. Ivadix base? Ivadix is base. That sounds right. It's really cool. It's built into this lush cave place here. I think this is the way you go? Well, this doesn't look right, so surely it's not. Where's the base part of the base? I haven't been here in a minute. Hello. Where's the base in this base? Is it in here? Oh, this looks like something. Here it is. <laughs> this is Christian's base. Very heavy 1.18 vibes here. And then that goes down to a mine, I think. I'm not going down there. I'm going back into the nether hub. Now, if we go further south, let me pop out right here. We get to, is there a door on the side of this tunnel? Or do I have to, I have to go all the way through. See, this is why we're getting a new nether hub. Somewhat dysfunctional, the old one is. Why am I talking like Yoda? Through this portal, we get to Cavern Enterprises. My capitalist venture with Christian and Dodo. And this is a combination of all of our efforts. This part here and this kind of balcony was built by me. So were these stairs. A lot of the interior here was built by Christian. It's a pretty cool place. Still a work in progress, but pretty cool. And if I take you up here, this is the cavern vault. Not much of a vault because you can walk right in, but here are our combined profits so far, which is not great, <laughs> but it's not the worst thing in the world. Now I'm going to take you back into the nether hub and bring you to some of caverns farms. We have a sheep farm, wool farm here on the island, but that's pretty much it as far as the island farms go, but we have much bigger ones further off in the nether hub. I don't know why I say we. I had nothing to do with making these. I don't know how to make them. So, I'm going to go east in the nether, and in a few rockets time... Th is that another husk? Oh, this is definitely another husk the world. Where, what are you wandering to? Okay. Anyways. <laughs> we keep going this way. And soon we should see it emerge out of the fog. Hopefully. Maybe. Yes, there it is. This is the gold slash piglin farm. So up here, you attract the zombified piglins in the middle and then they die. There is a bartering system here with living piglins to collect the gold and turn it into all of these resources. And uh, there's a lot. <laughs> there is a lot here. This is an incredible farm. I really don't understand how it works, but I'm very impressed by it. Cavern Enterprises Production Center. This is also all Dodo and Christian. Here it is. So, they ha- what is this? This is new. A villager breeder? I guess. That's pretty cool. So, this is a giant mob farm. It has a tremendous number of drops inside. Uh, this is a sugarcane farm, pretty self-explanatory. This is a mud farm, I believe, and then a mangrove farm, which I am so appreciative for. That mangrove, mang mangrove farm has saved me from a lot of strife. Now, this here is off the continent because we try to keep these big laggy things away from places where people regularly are, but let's go back to the continent and move further south. We're going to stick around the south western, no, southeastern side of the continent for the meantime. We're going to travel to Saint Chickenthe. Now, Saint Chickenthe. Oh, Bradley's house. I forgot about that. Saint Chickenthe is a island that is all but connected to the rest of the continent. Like, that's the continent right there. It's just separated by a couple blocks. It is the home of the egg worshippers, led by Kaylee, or Snug Chameleon. This is a, a weird place where almost everyone on the server has died. I think I might have been the only one who didn't die here. Wow, now that, that's an accomplishment. 
And this is Kaylee's base. There is a glass bottle in the sky. There's this brick network beneath it and a dockside village. They also terraformed this beach with the gravel and the tuff. It turned out amazing. If only it just wasn't scary. <laughs> Let's go back into the nether hub and check out uh, Kaylee's new place. Now, I actually don't know where this is because I haven't been there yet. This, by the way, is a Halloween game. I won't take you in there, but if you want to check out the Halloween episode, it's all in there. It's pretty cute. This might be the new one? I really don't know. Let's check it out. Nope. This is something Velxa has for farms. I don't really know what's here. Okay, let's check this way. Oh, that's something. That could be promising. This is beautiful with the autumn pack on, but I have no idea what this is or, or where this is. Ice spikes, oh, this might be for mining ice spikes. You know, that would make a lot of sense. Kind of embarrassing how I don't know my way around my own server. Oh, I see a line of lights. This looks like it. Here we are, I think, I hope. Chicken. This looks promising. I've not been here before. There's eggs and chickens. So far, telling of a chicken cult. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so this is the new Saint Chicken Thee. Because I believe that uh, Kaylee did move out of the old one. I know that this is still a work in progress, but this is pretty amazing. Let's see if they have anything in here. Oh yeah, I don't know what any of this means, but th there's something, there's something. Does it keep going? It does. And more somethings. Okay, okay. I'm gonna sleep here real quick even though all of my instincts are screaming for me to get out of the egg haven. All right, so those are the Kaylee slash chicken thief places. I think this is called the cathedral, if I remember right. Like cathedral, but at cathedral, do you get it? I hope not, anyways. Ow, that was stupid. I don't know how to get back to the portal. Where did I, oh, there it is, there it is. Thank God. Now, we're going to go back to the west side of the continent and take a look at Pancake's base, which I think, I think Pancake is the only other person living on the west side of the continent, right here. Whoa. Oh, there's new stuff here. This wall was not here before. So Pancake's base looks, uh, I don't know, smallish, innocent-ish when you first arrive. It is not. So. Let's go through here. And this will take us into the main area of the base. I still don't understand how this stuff works either, but these are wireless redstone doors powered by pufferfish. The pufferfish detects the person, expands, and opens the doors, or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. But this is Pancake's base. Let's go back through this entrance first. This is a really, really cool base. So this has a storage system and a really big smelting area down there. And if we go, it, if, if we go, <sighs> help I'm trapped. If, if we go back this way, um, pancake. If, if we go back this way, oh no, if, um, did these go, <laughs> <laughs> nope, I can't escape through here, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, yes, let me out, anyways, if we go back through this way, don't do that again, we could do all the farms and everything. Okay, these are working normally now. So, farms. They've got a lot of them. There's the wheat farms, there's honey bee farms and stuff, and... What is this? 
Oh my. What is this? Oh, melon and sugar cane. Okay. Here's the sugar cane farms. And the farms just continue down this very, very long hallway. Melon farms there. Oh, this is for kelp and bamboo, which we have along the sides here. Brilliant. Then these are the wool farms. And then a little further down, I think this was a mud farm? A nether wart. And then there's this place. Which, if you've watched the videos before, you'll know that I died here. <laughs> oh, this was not covered in skulk before. I'm gonna pray that the bottom landing of this is still working. I'm going to jump. Pray for me. Pray for me. Whew. I believe there's powdered snow under there. So, we go this way. There's an enchanting setup, and then it opens up into this enormous cave. Is the... the monstrosity is still there. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I haven't been here since I put this here. It's become skulkified. And, and mushroomified? I made this giant monstrosity here, and it's, it's being taken over. I don't know what that means. But this is Pancake's underground grotto. I'm not sure what to call it. But it's magnificent. I absolutely love this place. And in this main building here... You remember how I told you about that moss mom who blew up earlier? One of her eyeballs is in here. Begging to be stolen. Right there. So... Yeah. Oh, my god. I hear a warden. Did you guys hear that? That was definitely a warden. I'm leaving. He's guarding the eye with a warden. That's what I've concluded here, unless I'm making things up. I'm leaving. I'm... Was that not a warden noise? This is not a safe place to be, I feel. I've died here before. I don't want to die here again. So... If we go this away instead, we should be able to pop a ride. And this is going to take us out of the bottom of the earth and up through the mountain again. I actually don't think I showed this yet, but Pancake's base is built underneath a beautiful mountain range that I will show you when we pop out of here. But before we pop out of here, we need to take another ride on this elevator. Which is another thing that I don't understand how it works, but is really impressive to me. So, we go up here, and this is the mountain range that this is built beneath. So it just sprawls through here. Now let's travel westward. We are going to go all the way to the other side of the continent, although I think I might point out a few things on our way there as we travel. Now, just south of spawn, before we go northwestward to the other side of the continent, I just want to show you this real quick. This here is a netherite spiral built above our end portal. Now, we did not actually harvest all of this netherite. Unfortunately, this was the product of hacking, and the hacking is no longer a problem, but we decided that because it had been hacked in the first place, we wanted to keep it, but we did not want to use it as actual netherite, so we decided to put it into a build. And so Mac created this, which is <laughs> really, really cool looking. Now if we continue moving northwest, we should arrive here <laughs> at the therapy hut. This is a place that I went, I think, in episode two, at the very beginning of the server. This is where Ender and Swigging T lived before they moved onto the peninsula with me and then up to the Skyland. This is the Lost Causes chair that started a bunch of chaos between us. Good times. Now we're going to keep moving northwest, nor well, mostly north, but a little bit west, I think. I think this is it. Yes, it is. This is a world eater. I don't know who built it. I don't know what it's for. It sat like this for months now. I genuinely have no idea like what it's about whatsoever. But yeah, there's a world eater 
for some reason. Anyway, so let's keep moving northwest-ish. We're gonna curve this way along the northwestern coast. And right over this way, we should see the old abandoned house. This was built by a server member who left, I think, within the first month. And so this house just sat abandoned and it became a place where the moss men sought refuge. This is another little thing that was abandoned. This is just the, the little cove of abandoned things. <laughs> We move this way, moving southwest a little bit along the coast. And here, we come to the funeral location. This is where we held Velx's funeral. Something that I created to, um, inspire the rest of the server into a war? I don't know what to call it. But this is where the conflict with the Moss Men and the not Moss Men really escalated. And if we follow this path away from it, we get over here to Mr. Theory's base, which has gone through a tremendous number of iterations. So currently there's this farm, which Orbe even helped him build, and there is this jungle-like area on top with a really complex treehouse within it. And then, do we go down here? Yeah! This was the original base, which got buried by the treehouse. And there is a huge house thing over here with a villager set up and farms. And the portal in the middle. This was the, the main storage area house, I believe. And then farms over here are paths that took shulker boxes and carts back and forth. It's a very complex place. In fact, I think we can... Yeah, this is really cool. Wait. How does it work? There! You can change the color of the fireplace. Red. Or blue. Which I thought was really cool. Now, if I remember right, there is a way to get even lower within this base. Just trying to remember how to get there. Uh, I think it's over here. Yeah, right through here. And this is the lowest part of the base with a big smelting system. Oh, and you can see a great map of the continent right here with the mossy peninsula up at the top, spawn here in the middle and Mr. Theory's base right there. So if we go this away, there's no carts. Well, this is a tunnel to Velx's base, so let's just, um, put some armor on, <laughs> and, oh, I can't fly now. That's gonna take way too long. Let's see if I can get a good running start here. Flying start. Yes. 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 Up. Ow. And now here we are at Velx's base. This is Velx's new mansion that they are building, which is beautiful. I love the diamond chandelier. There's a nice dining room over here. It's still in the works. So I won't show you too terribly much of it. There's another one of my monstrosities. And then this is Velx's old place, which I don't know what this grid above it is for, but that looks suspiciously like it's going to be used to set off TNT into the base and destroy it. So I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's happening there. And this here is Max Place, which has this lovely mossy portal and this ravine sort of thing, watery ravine with a lot of heads. My God, Mac. Now I'm actually going to go through the portal here and navigate us to the end because my elytra is getting very low and I don't want to fall out of the sky and die. And this gives us the perfect opportunity to use Dodo's subway system, I think. Ooh, I think it's right here. This should take us to the end portal. Yes. Here we are in the end, and this is my Enderman farm. I'm just gonna zoop down here real quick. And it's already all healed up. Now we can be on our way. 
Where's the last place I slept? Oh no, was it? I think it was on the Chicken Island. Not that Chicken Island, the, the, the Cathedral. No, not here again, oh my god. Get me out. Now, if we continue moving down the continent, we will arrive at Rosecliff. This is Roxy's place. She has been building an entire city here, and I love it. Let me show you around a little bit. So, there is this beautiful tower here. The floating candles, I love. And then this Victorian house that she's built. And there is a whole burgeoning city here with some really cool designs. So, Rosecliff is populated by these pillagers who have uh, shot their way into having no bows, except they're incredibly glitched because I have a pillager resource pack on that is really not working at all. And there are these little creatures. They're like mechanical creatures. This one is moving leaves back and forth. I really love them. I wanna see if the monstrosity here is still alive. It is, wow, more of these monstrosities are alive than I thought were. So this is the cliff part of Rose Cliff that Roxy has built slash is building, which is a huge undertaking too. Like, there's like layers of rock in this, do you see? With the tuff, it's beautiful. There is this bay here with a conduit and a beautiful little enchanting setup down there. Now, if we move to the west of this, this is Day's place with a tremendous amount of cake. I swear there's, <laughs> every time I look at this, I feel like I see more cake. I don't know if people are, are adding more or if I'm just not good at noticing it. Oh, the lag, the lag is getting me here too. But this is Day's place, which is a perfect place to be because this fairy here, actually, before I show you the fairy, I'm gonna, zoop up this way just briefly this right here is roxy's drowned farm which i also don't know how this works i don't know how any farms work apparently but it's cool it works it does stuff and now day's fairy here takes you to the shopping district on the way to the shopping district there's also the oil rig that day built which is incredible and has a gunpowder farm in it that's what all of that is you can see the little cats in there this here is the shopping district, which we call Carl, which I think, if I remember right, I jokingly called it Carl, but then I submitted it as an actual name for the place when we had a vote to decide on the name of the shopping district, and we decided it would stand for commercial and recreational land or something stupid like that. I don't... But this is the shopping district. There's shops from all sorts of people. This is Roxy's Emporium right here. There is Pancake's Potion making shop. That is the other end of the ferry. There's a rocket shop, iron shop. This is the Cavern Enterprises shop that Dodo and Christian and I run, which is a whole mall that stretches underneath the shopping district with a bunch of little rooms and kiosks jutting off of it. And then we have the junk drawer, my own shop, which is not to brag. I think the most profitable shop here. And it has basically anything that I don't want. It is just a bunch of junk pretty much, but there's also a lot of enchanted books up here. And at the top of the junk drawer, there is another monstrosity. One of my favorite builds here is this one over here, which Dodo and I built. It is the Bone Meal Mausoleum. And it has a skeleton hand lifting up the land in front of it. It sells bone meal inside. And when you go into it, you get the bone meal basically out of crypts. And it has hardly made any money at all but I really like the place. I'm super happy with it. There are only a couple more places to see, and they are to the north. Now, of course, there's other little farms and starter bases and all sorts of things scattered across the server. There's also a mysteriously large number of random campsites that I found in the woods throughout the entire continent. I don't know who made those, but they're really, they make me think, you know, they make me wonder. Now up here are Orbeven's things. Orbeven is living off the continent across the ocean to the north. And this is his base, 
which I'm gonna try to show very carefully because it can make me very laggy. There is a villager trading hall down here, which I also have a trading hall. Didn't show it on camera, but it's basically like this except stretched into a really long hallway instead. <laughs> A bunch of different types of farms all over the place here. I think this is supposed to be like a lightning rod that's been struck and charred a little bit, which is really cool. There's... Let me get an aerial view. There's a lot of farms. A lot happening here. He's very good at the farm stuff. And then if we go down under here... Ooh, the lag. It's beating me up. There are a lot more farms and a lot more chests and villagers and... It really just keeps going. There's stuff around every corner, more stuff constantly, and there is just about every type of block that you could possibly want down here. I'm not gonna show all of this because I don't actually know how much he wants to be shown, but it's a very, very impressive base. Now over here, a little bit to the west. Wait, this is not the west, this is the east. This is Orbeven's game show district. This is the champion center that I built for him, which has a big central area for a billboard, ooh, which he has set up right here. That's fantastic. I didn't realize he'd gotten started on it already. And there I am. Oh, I got a tie second place with Christian. Nice. And Dodo and Velks are tied for first. Brilliant, setting the tones. <laughs> what is this? What's your name? Who's your daddy? <laughs> so, the first cha chast task was this music challenge. We all tried to make a, uh, a theme show for... Wait, I can't talk. We all tried to make a theme song for the game show. And this was the result. Now, one of the last things that I have yet to show you... Look at this Enderman just motoring with this block. <laughs> Wait, where am I going? Did I not go the right way? Oh, it's this way. I totally went in the wrong direction. This right here is Day's Arena, which I don't think I've really shown on camera at all because it's not finished. But I want to show at least a little bit of it because it is phenomenal. So you might be wondering, where's the arena? Well, wait, well, Hold on, where? Oh, well! <laughs> Here's the arena. This is one of the craziest things on the server. It is incredible. And basically, this will hopefully one day become a giant PvP arena. Now, I'm not going to show too much of it because it is not mine and I don't want to spoil everything, but... It's incredible. I couldn't not show it. And that is just about everything. I do hope that you enjoyed this and happy one year anniversary to Nearcraft. Long may she reign. There is another Nearcraft episode coming soon and I will see you in that one. Bye.